Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to walk you through how I find winning t-shirt niches for print on demand. Now, in order to give you as much value as possible, I'm just going to give you seven niches that I've already done the research for that are full of profitable sub niches. Then I'll show you step-by-step -step on screen recording how to go through these overall niches and find profitable sub niches. Now, one of the main reasons for making this video is because I'm often asked, is print on demand oversaturated? Well, the short answer here is that at the general niche level, very basic overall niches, yes, print on demand is definitely oversaturated. There are a lot of people competing in these overall broad niches. However, once you get into these sub niches, which not many people realize you can do or know how to do, there is very little competition in there. And I'll show you with real examples on the computer here so you can see the proof. All right, so first let me show you these seven niches. And these seven niches are packed with thousands of profitable sub niches. So you really shouldn't have to look any further than these seven and then just start digging into them to find these sub niches. First is geographical and local nostalgia. Think of designs that are specific to a certain city or region. You kind of want to dig in here and see if you can find any local slang or inside jokes for regions. Those are the ones that are going to do extremely well here. Besides that, you can even do overall things for states or regions that people live in. Those tend to sell very well. Next is occupational. So these are designs that are specific to certain jobs or industries. Third on the list is hobbies and interests. Think of designs here that are specific to certain sports or activities. Next up is educational. These are designs related to certain subjects or degrees. Next is personalized and custom designs. These are always going to sell well because they are specific. These are things along the lines of names, monograms, things like that. Sixth on the list is environmental and sustainability themed niches. There is a huge push for this all over the world, especially lately. So I don't think this niche is going to go down anytime soon. And last on the list is health and wellness themes. Now the overall niche here is probably going to be saturated, but start to think of some sub niches like mental health and self care. So if you can create designs around here, you'll see that this is a great niche to be in. Now, I highly recommend pausing the video here and writing down these seven overall niches because they have so many hidden sub niches in them. You really shouldn't have to look any further. Okay, so now that we've talked about what the seven niches are, now let's talk about how to use them to find the sub niches within them. All right, so let me bring you into the computer here and show you how I do this. Now, I've been doing print on demand for years now, and I've just found that it's simply easier to use a tool that doesn't cost a lot of money to do the heavy lifting for you. Otherwise, there's a lot of guesswork that goes into this by searching different platforms and trying to come to your own conclusion when these tools can just do all of that work for you in a couple clicks. So this is the tool that I personally use. You've probably seen it in my other videos. It's called Merch Informer. Now I'll get logged into my account to show you, but for those of you who need it, it's about $10 a month. All you need is the newbie plan. And I have a coupon code that I'll put in the description below that gives you 15% off. Now, for the purposes of this video, you can do a three-day free trial and follow along for this video so you can do everything totally for free. So let me get logged in real quick and then we will get started. So this is the inside of Merch Informer here and they have a bunch of different print-on-demand tools that you can use. Specifically for finding these sub-niches, we're going to go to Keyword Research and then Keyword Finder. So essentially all we have to do here is come up with different ideas for sub niches and type them in here. The rest will all be done for us. Now, something that I really should say before doing this is that the biggest difference I've seen between people who are very successful in print on demand and those who kind of have a rocky start and then they end up just fizzling out and quitting after a month or two is the ability to have critical thinking skills and creativity and the ability to search Google to kind of come up with their own ideas. Now, how that relates to this is the seven niches that I gave you before are filled with literally thousands of different profitable sub niches. It's going to be up to you to come up with what those sub niches are, and then this will tell you if that's good, if it's bad, everything you need to know. So to give you an example here to show you really just how easy this is, if you can put a little bit of creativity into it, the second niche on the list I had shown before is occupational. So this is different jobs or different industries. So what I'm going to search here is linemen. Now, if you don't know what a lineman is, it's the people who climb up the power poles and they work on the electric cables that are typically along the sides of roads. So if we hit search here, it's going to tell us everything about linemen for print on demand. So the first is the phrase over here and then the amount of search volume on Amazon and the amount of search volume on Google. 
And then you can click over cost per click. That doesn't really relate to us because we're not running any ads. And then it's going to show you competition. So what we need to do is essentially look for the low competition ones. And then beyond that, we can confirm that it just gets some amount of substantial traffic. It doesn't have to be a crazy amount of traffic, just a couple thousand people per month searching for this. If there is very little competition and you have a great design, you could actually notice that as some serious income. So coming through this list, we have Lineman. That is low competition. That's a great sub niche to go into. But as you keep scrolling through here, you can see football Lineman. That's also a low competition. So there's two different sub niches we just found. This one's going to fall into the hobbies and interests, but that is a great sub niche. So keep scrolling through here, skip anything that is high. We just don't wanna compete there. We've got apprentice lineman. So this is the electrician lineman. Before you can be a full fledged lineman, you likely have to be an apprentice. So if you can make this design on a shirt, someone may buy that as a gift for someone who is an apprentice lineman, just because it's something that's very specific and very personal. So keep coming through here, future linemen along the same routes of apprentice linemen, electric linemen, power linemen. These are all different sub niches that you can go into. Now, as you can see, electric linemen and power linemen are very similar. So you'd likely be making the same shirt for both of those sub niches. One of them may say electric lineman, one may say power lineman on the actual design. However, something really important to note is that all of these that are similar, like electric and power, they should be included as keywords on the same listing. So if you have a design and you create a listing that's relevant to multiple of these and they still have low competition, add them as keywords throughout the title and the description. That way, no matter what they are searching for, if it's one or the other, your shirt will come up. And if it's relevant to both, you just got the traffic from both of these searches. So I could go on here for a lot more time showing you all of these different sub niches you could go into. And that's just searching off of one term, which was lineman. Now think about if you went to Google and you search different occupations and you type those into here and tried to get as creative as possible, you could find tons of different sub niches. That's really how easy this is. And now think even broader, those seven overall niches that I showed you before, are filled with literally thousands, likely tens or even hundreds of thousands of these profitable sub niches. Now that you know the process, all you have to do is rinse and repeat to find more of these sub niches. Now, once you've found these sub niches, all you have to do from there is create slogans and then put them on designs. Now, for those of you who would like more information on that part of the process, I'll link up a video at the end here and I'll put a timestamp in that video so it starts exactly where the slogan creation and the design creation starts. So between this video and that section, you should have everything you need for finding profitable sub niches, coming up with slogans, and then creating designs that sell. That is the vast majority of being successful in a print on demand business. So I hope that really helps you guys out. As always, if you guys have any questions, just let me know down in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you all in the next video.